Hi guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, we're not on the training pitch today, but instead we're gonna be doing some match analysis of a couple of games that I played in recently. I've been playing with a fourth division club here in Rochester, New York, with some of my former teammates from the Lancers, if you've been following along the journey for the last few years. So it's been a great opportunity for me to get some playing time, get some match fitness, and also play with some familiar players who I already have chemistry with. So I hope you're gonna pick up a lot of value from today's video. I'm going to be sharing all of the decisions and touches that I made throughout two games and not because I'm a perfect player by any means, quite the opposite in fact, but I'm hoping that you'll learn a lot from the things that maybe I did well and the things that maybe I didn't do so well over the course of these two games. So just before we get into them, I wanna say a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is where I built my website, 7mlctraining.com, and from websites to analytics to marketing tools, they're the all-in-one place to grow your online presence and manage your business. So let's jump into the first game and just for a bit of context, I am playing as a central attacking midfielder. The team I'm playing for plays a formation of 4-2-3-1. So we play with two defensive midfielders, three attacking midfielders and a solo striker. So this is great for me, I'm playing in that three, it gives me a lot of freedom to attack. I don't have to strictly be out wide or strictly in the middle, I can kind of be free flowing. So I can get into pockets of space, get on the ball often and kind of be as creative as I want. So we're gonna dive into the first game here. So I'm playing for the white and blue team wearing the number nine shirt and we're about to kick off here. And my first thought going into a match is get on the ball as quickly as possible. I'm trying to get a touch early in the first one to two minutes, get a touch under my belt so that I can build upon it. If you can get a simple touch early, you're just gonna build on that confidence and then you're gonna be able to be more creative as the game goes on and take more risks. So as you can see, first touch I had there, I just connected a very simple pass and then I'm getting on the ball here. As you can see, one to two to three touches, just passing the ball and moving. Just getting on the ball here, as you can see, one to two touches, connecting passes, moving the ball, getting into new pockets of space. So just trying to be mobile and offer myself to my teammates to get on the ball and relieve pressure. As you can see here, just trying to get goal side when the opposition has the ball. I'm not the best defender in the world, so I know the best thing I can do is try and force them back. Get goal side, just give a little bit of pressure and not allow them just to walk past me. As you can see here, very early on getting a chance to score and I do end up taking it. So it was a bit of a gift from the opposition to be fair and I just pounced on it. The defender slipped, I took it around the goalkeeper and finished. But as you can see here, we're patiently waiting at that 30 yard line. That's called our line of confrontation, where if they get up to that point, that's when we're gonna try and tackle them. And it just worked in our favor this time. They made a mistake, we capitalized on it. I faked the shot, went around the goalkeeper and just lifted the ball into the back of the net. So early goal for us, just over 10 minutes. So it's a great start for the team. Of course, that was a gift from the opposition, but you have to put those away. And thankfully this time we did. So moving into the next play here, apparently this was a handball. I'm not sure if it was, but not a too threatening position. As you can see here, was about to make the run. The defender that is on my team played the ball a bit shorter. So I just came back to collect it, had a bit of pressure around me. So all I'm doing is keeping the ball for a second just to draw in a couple of players and then releasing the ball. This helps my teammates have more time and space when they have the ball. This is a really good play here for our second goal. As you can see, quick free kick, little one, two around the corner. I'm driving end line, finding Rosano in the middle and he finishes first time. So that happened very quickly, very good piece of football, but we're gonna slow it down here as you'll see. So we play the quick free kick. Now as the ball comes into me, I'm flicking it around the corner, quick scan over my shoulder, then immediately I'm moving off of the ball. You don't wanna be standing around after you play the ball, getting into a new space so that I can receive it. Most defenders are gonna follow the ball, so it's gonna give you more time and space once you get back on the ball again. So a quick one-two with Pete, played the ball into the middle, Rosano with the first time finish, and that's two nil in, I'm not sure what point of the game this is, maybe 20 minutes or so. So yeah, 26 minutes and we're already two nil up. So that's a great start for us. And at this point we've had a lot of possession as well. So very comfortable position for us to be in. As you can see here, just getting into pockets of space, trying to get options from my teammates to give me the ball. I'm trying to play one, two touch when I do receive it. As you can see here, I was pointing into the corner. That's where I wanted the ball. The right back there played a great ball into Rosano once again, and it just didn't work out that time. 
as you can see here in a pocket of space acting like I don't want the ball this is really important and then when I want the ball I'm changing my pace to check into that space that's something I've been really trying to work on is changing my tempo acting like I don't want the ball walking around and then checking into the space because then you'll get more time and space on the ball once you receive it Again, just trying to find the player in the middle, looking for the combination. Unfortunately, the touch was a little bit loose that time, but nothing came of it. As you can see here, trying to stay in between the back four and the midfield. That's where I'm always trying to pick up the ball in between the lines as a central attacking midfielder. This is where I can create the most opportunities. So always moving off the ball, just possessing the ball at the minute, trying to frustrate the opponents. It's kind of like rondos. The longer you're in the middle and you don't touch the ball, you get more frustrated and you'll make more mistakes. So the more you can keep possession, you're going to frustrate your opponents and they're likely going to get out of position a lot more or just get exhausted from chasing you around, which is going to open up opportunities for your team so a little bit of basic possession one and two touches just moving the ball around as you can see switching it to the other side of the pitch now and now we're actually creating more opportunities so as you can see here i received the ball top of the box thread the player through and we're very unlucky this time player hits the post but that was a really good piece of football once again and this guy's coming up from center back essentially so he plays it in i get the call to leave the ball dave with a great back heel into my path the centre back continues his run all the way, so off the ball movement was great, completely lost his defenders, he was able to get through and just very unlucky, that was actually an excellent save from the goalkeeper. But we're creating opportunities just by keeping the ball, moving it around and eventually those holes are going to open up. Again receiving the ball in that pocket of space between the back four and the midfield once again, playing some one twos nothing on so just keeping the ball, another couple of one twos trying to frustrate them. Again, receiving the ball, got a few players around me, so just dribbling to draw the pressure, then releasing the ball to create space, seeing a gap between the two defenders here, just dribbling, nothing fancy, just splitting them and then dribbling across to once again relieve the pressure from my teammates. Because if I draw the pressure, a couple of defenders, chances are there's going to be a lot of players with no one on them. So when they receive the ball, they got a lot of time and space. As you can see here, always scanning over my shoulders. I'm in the middle of the park there. Just trying to check for new areas that I can receive the ball. Always trying to create an option for my team, even if I don't get it. When I do, just one touch and then play it to the next person and then try and get into a new pocket of space. Almost a good play there. It just didn't work out. The defender did well. As you can see here, just receiving the ball. Flick around the corner. We're looking for the one, two. Didn't quite work out, but we got a little bit of luck there, remained in possession as I got the ball there, I didn't have any options around me really. So just keeping the ball once again, we don't need to force anything, we're in a comfortable position, so we just keep possession. After we've kept possession for a while, now I've made a direct run, the defence is a bit tired now, it was a good first touch, hooked the ball back and the keeper did pretty well i should have done a lot better with this finish as you'll see my first touch i was very happy with got the ball down saw the defender coming in quickly so i cut it back and as you can see the goalkeeper's off his line so he's narrowing that angle i should have probably gone for the near post or even took another touch but i took it early and as you can see my reaction wasn't the best i should have immediately pressured the ball as soon as i shot but i was a little bit delayed so learn from that as soon as you take the shot always follow in your shot as well and you might get a second opportunity to shoot just keeping the ball here again driving forward with it trying to combine trying to create a penetrating run so that I can receive the ball once again but we just end up keeping possession in the end another ball down the line for me i'm tired at this point to be fair it's right at the end of the half waiting for a bit of support get that overlapping run so it's a little back heel in good dummy there it just didn't work out but we've been playing some good sequences of football and that took us through to half time so very comfortable position 2-0 up and it's a very hot day so our coach told us that after about five minutes he was going to make some changes make sure we're not picking up any silly injuries we're in a very comfortable position and so we were told that about five minutes into the second half we're going to be coming off this wasn't a great decision for me i knew i was going to be coming off so trying to create something wasn't anyone in the box i probably should have played it wide and that would have allowed me to maybe make a one two or at least give myself time so that other players could get in the box and so i could cross it instead of shooting from a very tough angle and then last touches for me before I was subbed out. Just a little bit of instinctive dribbling. Ended up chopping it in here. Got a little bit lucky to keep the ball. And then I just found some spaces, just keeping the ball moving. Lots of quick, small touches. 
and I was rolling the ball, found a little bit of space, split those two defenders, and I tried to take this touch inside, but I just missed the ball. But just trying to create something before I knew I was about to come off, and pretty much 30 seconds later, as you can see, we're making a sub. I didn't realize it had come already, but I just came straight off the pitch. We ended up winning this game 3-1. So it was a comfortable win for us and a good performance overall. We played some good football. The team we were playing against wasn't the most disciplined, but moving into the second game, this was a lot tougher of an opponent. They were a lot more organized, a lot more structured, and you can see they're a bit harder to break down. We didn't get quite as many opportunities to score. And we were a bit unfortunate this game as well. We hit the woodwork quite a few times. But anyway, into the second game, as you can see, just trying to get into those gaps where I think the ball is going to be played so I can intercept. Then I'm trying to play the ball forward. The ball was bobbling a little bit, so the touch ended up being a bit loose. Ball's played over the top for me here. Was a dodgy bounce, so I'm just trying to get my body in between the ball and the defender to shield it and then playing a simple pass. Again, this is early on in the game, so I'm just trying to connect that pass, build that confidence. Ball comes to me here. It's a bit of a half chance this one, wasn't the greatest cross from me, although we did almost create something out of it. I probably could have just kept the ball or played a better cross. Next touches from me, just getting the ball down, played the ball in and then continued my run. Similar to the first game, as soon as you play that ball, if you then make a darting run immediately after, just have a look here. As I get this ball down, look at the defender that's approaching me. As I play the pass, look where his eyes go. Immediately they follow the ball, so the attention's off me so I can make that run through. Looking for someone to clip that ball over the top, it just doesn't come. It's a bit late. Eventually it does come, but I know I'm offside, so I just stand still. Thankfully, there's another player there, and we actually almost score from it, to be fair. That's a decent opportunity, which we got a corner from. As you can see here, just playing a little 1-2. Defender did well there. Ball comes down. I just get in there, a little roulette to Rosano. He gets to the end line, and again, we're creating another half opportunity, getting the ball in the box in those dangerous areas. And we actually hit the crossbar on that one. So we're threatening, but it's still nil-nil at this point. So starting the game, connecting very simple passes. Now I'm getting a little bit more confident after a few touches, so I'm trying to create a little bit more. Next clip, goalkeeper has the ball, throws it out to me. I know I've got a player on my back, so I'm just playing a simple one-touch volley back to my teammate who has a lot of time and space. Next play here, ball's chipped down the line. Quick scan over my shoulder, feel the player on my back, so it's a quick flick over his head. And then I'm driving into the middle with the ball. Then my teammate actually intercepts. This is an interesting one because he plays a good quality pass, but I'm not sure it was the right decision. Let me know what you guys think of this one. But because I had the momentum with the ball, I believe my player could have ran the opposite way to create an option to pass to and distract the defender while we had another player on the opposite side. And because I've got the momentum, either the defenders are gonna split so I can continue running through or I can then thread the ball. He does play a good quality pass out to my teammate there, but as you can see, the player on the wing is now isolated. He doesn't have many options, so he's got to cut the ball back. And we kind of lose momentum in the play. Next play here, I've gone one-on-one -on -one with the defender and played the ball across. We almost score from it, but this is a very simple way to go 1v1 versus a defender. So as you can see, right at him, small touches, small body feint, and then I push the ball out of my feet and accelerate. And then I'm playing that ball across, we almost get a touch on it for a tapping goal, but it just wasn't to be this time. So didn't even perform a skill move. It's just a slight body feint. Just puts the defenders on his heels for a split second. Then I can exploit it with some speed. Picking up the ball in the pocket once again, playing the ball in. Rosano plays an amazing ball back to me. Then I'm getting that ball across. Unfortunately, we're just not finding the back of the net. We are creating opportunities, but I turn on the ball, look up, I see Rosano there plays a great first time pass back to me. So same outcome here, getting an end line, but instead of dribbling, I'm just playing a one, two. It's tough this one, because I've only got one player. I would have liked another runner around the penalty spot, but no one else was darting in and the chance goes begging, unfortunately. And that brings us to half time and it's nil nil. So we have created some opportunities, but unfortunately at this point, just nothing's going in the back of the net. And sometimes you're just having days like that and it was kind of the theme of today's game. We were creating some good opportunities, but hitting the post, hitting the woodwork, not having runners getting into the box. Going into the second half, we really wanted to get a goal. First touch, as you can see, I just played a very simple pass. Again, picking up the ball in the pocket here, turning with one touch, playing the ball out with my second touch to Rosano. He does well to get past one player. 
but unfortunately just gets surrounded in the end. But this is something I work on a lot in my individual midfielder training sessions. So just receiving the ball with my back foot and then playing the ball with my next touch. Always being side on. You have the link player as a central attacking midfielder, getting the ball out wide, but trying to find those pockets of space to receive the ball. Again, trying to get into those spaces where I think the ball is going to be played so I can intercept passes. As someone that's not a very good 1v1 defender, my strengths are more in intercepting passes, trying to force them backwards. So again, I'm in a central spot here. Again, got players on my back, so just creating a little bit of space for myself. Just slowing down the tempo a bit, trying to allow time for my other teammates to get forward so that we can create an opportunity. And then just slowing down the tempo once again. We don't need to rush. Let's get some players in the box, get some players out wide and just stringing a few passes around. It's still early in the second half. Not sure if that was a cross or a shot, but it almost went in. Receiving the ball here, so basically the exact opposite of what happened. Rosano was in the middle this time, receiving the ball with his back foot, playing me out wide. I drive in, create a little bit of room, play my teammate there who's just unfortunate with his first touch. That could have been a really good goal scoring opportunity. Just keeping the ball in the corner between the three of us, it's 3v3, so it's a little bit of possession here. Trying to create something and it just doesn't work out this time. All I'm doing here is just getting my body in between the player and the ball once again to shield it. Just keeping that ball, getting into a new pocket of space and relieving pressure. Just wanna keep that ball for straight our opponents. Receiving the ball in the middle, didn't have anything on, so it's a quick croquetta to get out of that little tight situation. Then I'm just switching the ball to a player who has a lot of time and space on the ball. Again, just relieving that pressure once again. Our central midfielder gets it. Back out to me. I could play the ball forward at this point, but again, we want to get some numbers forward, get some players in the box. So we're just keeping it at this point, not forcing anything. Receive the ball after I've been keeping it. Now I'm going to try and create something because I've been passing for a little while. So now I'll try and drive forward, switch it up, try and be unpredictable. So I just played the ball into Rosano, continued my run. As you can see here, the defender keeps his eye on me at first, but as soon as he takes his eye off me, I'm just driving forward. And that just gives me that split second to get by him. Rosano plays a nice scoop pass into me. Somehow get that ball under control. Try to take it with my left foot. Defender makes a good block and they end up clearing the pressure. But now we're trying to create some opportunities. We've been keeping the ball a while. Now we're trying to actually penetrate and get behind their back four. Just getting the ball here, keeping it. See there's a switch opportunity on. So I just play that long ball. Great touch from George down the line. I think the defender gets a little touch on this one and it goes straight into the keeper's arms, but it's positive. Ball comes to me here, so first time pass. Then as you can see, I play that pass and immediately make the run because the defender takes his eyes off me. He's focused on the ball. So now I can make that darting run. Unfortunate with the return pass, it just didn't work out this time. Just a little bit of possession here keeping the ball. After we tried an attack, it's good just to keep the ball again, settle down, frustrate them once again, trying to create another hole. And as you can see, now the next play I get it, instead of just keeping it, I see there's a good run from Rosano here, threaded reverse ball, and he actually gets fouled. I'll put it in the slow-mo in a second. It might look a little bit soft on first impression, but as you'll see, the defender, I believe, sticks out his right forearm, right in the back of Rosano as he's about to control it, putting him off balance and that's just in the box. So we get a penalty opportunity. And just when we think we're about to score, keeper makes a save, but thankfully Gerber Sharp on his toes comes up with the rebound and we do finally break the deadlock and it's one nil to us. So a very ugly game for us so far. We've been creating a lot of opportunities and unfortunately just nothing's been going in the back of the net. So we needed a bit of luck and we got it with that penalty kick. Last touch from me, touch across the defender, then it's a through ball out to the opposite winger. And that just sums up our day, hitting the woodwork once again. We're just gonna slow down this touch once again because this is really important. You don't even need to beat the defender, just taking the touch in front of them so that my body is in between the ball and the defender. So the only way they can get the ball is to foul me. And then I'm playing that first time ball through into my winger's stride. And it's another great opportunity, but on the day we weren't very clinical in front of goal. But thankfully we did win the game 1-0, so we're doing well, still remaining top of the league into our last couple of games. So that's the match analysis. I hope you enjoyed it and took away some value from hearing my thought process throughout all of my decision making over those two games that I showed you. And the amazing thing about football is there's millions of players around the world who each have their own view of the game, how it should be played. Everyone has their own individual skills and techniques. 
And so you might be watching this video and thinking, wow, I would have done something completely different in that situation to what you did. And that's why we call it the beautiful game. There's no right or wrong way to get out of every situation. Sometimes there's three or four solutions. And that was just my view. That's what I thought in the moment was the best decision. And even looking back in hindsight, I'm looking at it thinking, wow, I could have done something completely different. And the nice thing about watching video, you can look back on those things and start to think of other options that you could do instead. And then the next time you're on the pitch, you can try out something different and see if that works. So hope you took away a lot of value from that. And please let me know in the comments section down below if there's any moments in the game where you would have done something different. I think we can learn a lot from each other. Everyone has their views. Everyone has their style of play and view of the game. So I'm looking forward to hearing yours. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Just before I go, I want to say another huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is where I built my very own website, 7mlctraining.com, and it's become the central hub of my entire brand. It allows me to put everything 7MLC training related in one place, from links to all of my platforms, my blog post, all of my training programs. If you've ever considered building your own website and you don't know where to start, I would fully recommend Squarespace because they make it really easy. I've got a bunch of professionally made templates for you that you can select from to represent your brand in the best way possible. And if you use the link in my description, www.squarespace.com 7MLC, you can get 10% off your first website. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure you smash the like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.